once you've installed the CloudCoin manager here and have created a wallet, you'll see that I've created a wallet here called My Wallet. And keep in mind that the version of the CloudCoin manager that you're using may not be uh, the version that I'm using, but the idea is the same. So you, it may look a little bit different uh, for you. But I'm going to click here on New Transaction and go to the Deposit Coins option. And right away you're going to see this information, uh, which basically is telling you that any cloud coins that you deposit are automatically going to receive new verification keys, which just basically means that if they were owned by someone else before, you're now going to officially be the owner. So specifically what we're gonna do right here is not only are we going to deposit coins, but we're going to deposit legacy coins and then convert them all at once to the new CloudCoin 2.0 coins. So let's go ahead and click this button here. And in my downloads folder on my computer, I actually have 860 cloud coins here. You'll see it has a stack extension. Um, so, uh, so that means that these are the legacy coins. So I'm going to be importing or depositing 860 legacy coins. And this pop-up here is, is basically just telling you uh, what it's about to do. It's going to be converting your coins. And if it's successful, it should convert it down to uh, just 10 coins, but just like it says here, don't worry that um, that that we only have 10 point coins after starting with 860 because you still have the same percentage of the new CloudCoin 2.0 as the percentage that you had in the legacy coins. So let's go ahead and hit OK here. And then I'm going to also type in my email address. The reason it asks for this is because it's going to give you a link to download your coins just in case there's any issue here uh, depositing your coins. And of course, if you do have any issues, simply reach out to our support team. So I'm going to hit OK here. And then it looks like that was successful. It is attached. That, that stack file is attached. I'm going to click Deposit Selected Coins. And it is now importing or depositing the coins. So we will wait. And this could take just a little bit of time, depending on how many uh, you're converting. And it looks like that we were successful. The old coins that we had were 860, and the new coins that we have are 10. You might remember that my wallet here had one coin in it previously. We now have 11, so that means that it works successfully. So there you go.